There's a buzz of anticipation. Now to really kick on with the entrance of the top eight seeds. Ready to face the eight players that won through a very testing Masters qualifying tournament. Martin Phillips was the first into the last 16. Then it was Glenn Durant of Cleveland. Scotland's Ewan Hislop secured his place in the draw. And yesterday was a good day for Christian Kist of the Netherlands. He qualified for the Lakeside World Championship in the afternoon and won a place in the main draw of the Masters in the evening. Steve Douglas secured his place in the last 16. And also through Andrew Gilding of Suffolk. He'll try and upset one of the top eight seeds. And Rick Hofstra of Holland was staring defeat in the face at two sets down, but fought back to win. And St. Helens' Stephen Bunting is through to the last 16. And here's how those eight players will line up against the top eight seeds. It's Steve Douglas that will face the man that's dominated this event for the last three years. Top seed Martin Adams, the BDO world champion, will throw for his fourth successive Masters title. Then it's former Masters and former world champion John Walton against Glenn Durant of Cleveland. Northumberland's Gary Robson will play Andrew Gilding of Suffolk. That's the third match on tonight. Fourth seed Scott Waits from Halifax plays Ewan Hislop of Scotland. Second seed Dean Stanley will play Rick Hofstra of Holland. Tony West, the former Masters champion himself, will play another Dutch player, Christian Kist. Scotland's Ross Montgomery, seeded six, plays Martin Phillips of Wales. And number three seed Robbie Green plays Stephen Bunting of St Helens. Uh, but there's no doubt who is the man to beat. It's the top man on the BDO circuit, the Masters champion, the reigning world champion, Martin Adams. He owns this stage. Whether I own the stage or not, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's other players that uh, have got the deep desire to, to win this trophy, as well as others. Um, I've just enjoyed winning it over the last three years. Equal Bob Anderson's record. So now I've got an opportunity to better it. First one is obviously special, first time you win this, but I think the, the one memory will be uh, uh, Robbie Green's going to hate me for this. Robbie missing the double and letting me in to come back and win it. Uh, without a doubt, you know, that was two years ago now. So that's the one memory that you know I always think of. <laughs> I just love the trophy, that's, I just had to keep going to win the trophy. I think it's the greatest trophy on the world. Really do, it's fantastic. Parts of it sitting on the back here, this must be, it's hallmarked, so it must be solid silver. So it is just a beautiful trophy, and I've always admired it from the very first time I saw it. At home, it sits in my office, there for me to see every day. So every morning when I sit down in my office chair and make me a cup of tea, I'm going to look at the Masters trophy. Game set and match, double top. That's yeah, the one. There it is. Stevie Douglas, I've known Steve for uh, a great number of years now. I like the lad, he's got a great sense of humour, um, and he's a great dark player, and I look forward to it. I could ask the others to give up, but I know they wouldn't. Um, our film's good. Um, you know, I had a, a little uh, exhibition match last night, which went very well. Went in my favour, so uh, film-wise, it's, it's good. Uh, and hopefully it'll continue again today. And uh, fingers crossed. We'll take it and win it for the fourth time.
Thanks, Ray. Now, one of the great things about the atmosphere at the darts is fancy dress and all the fans that come dressed up. I've obviously come as an ESPN presenter. Becky next to me has been a little bit more adventurous. Uh, Becky, I'm a bit confused. What, what have you come as? A big banana, obviously. <laughs> obviously, I wasn't quite sure. But you've come, you come mob-handed, haven't you? There are a few of us. It's a big bunch, shall we say. Now, did you all come together, or is it just a coincidence you're all here together? Well, it'd be a bit worrying if it was a coincidence, but no, we all came definitely together as big bananas. Now, I've noticed they've seated you away from where the players enter. So we presume to make sure they don't slip on over you. Well, it's a very dangerous situation, but you never know what could happen. Those cheeky bananas. Uh, now, I'm probably going to regret asking this question, but why have you come dressed as bananas? Because we couldn't find enough carrot outfits. It's a reasonable point. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen a guy with a traffic cone on his head, so that's fair, fair, fair game. Who are you guys supporting tonight? The beer. The beer. We're uh, supporting the beer. Other than that, which players are you supporting? Uh, uh, who are we supporting, guys? Oh, well, surely you've got to be... Sure. <laughs> been Kong, but apparently it's Wolfie. Uh, I'm going to go and put on my chicken suit. Back to you, Ray.